Hello, I am Lauren Collins, and I am a visual artist in the Integrated Arts class of 2021, and this is my showcase. My theme is Never Enough Time. My work is about losing a loved one and not being able to fully appreciate all the small things they added into your life until you're out of time. My work is inspired and dedicated to my gramps, who I lost last year to cancer. I've lived in a house with my grandparents for the majority of my life. My gramps definitely played a huge part in being a father figure in some more chaotic times of my life. I couldn't ever imagine him not being in my life. So when he passed so suddenly, it was a major adjustment in my life. I never fully processed all of it, so I'm using this project to help heal myself. The Empty Chair Colored pencil on 11 by 17 paper Shown in the artwork is an empty recliner chair with a small dog lying beneath it. My gramps always had his own chair in the living room. He would relax with his dog after a long day of work, and that was just where you could find him. I never realized how important a chair could be until there was no one left to fill it. After my gramps passed, my grandparents' dog used to sit in the window and wait for him to come home from work. Sometimes I feel like she still waits for him. Death is flowers. Colored pencil on 11 by 17 paper. Shown in my drawing is wilted and decaying roses in a vase. There is a bright red shiny ribbon around them still to show it was once a beautiful gift, but with enough time, everything dies. After my gramps had passed, our dining room was filled with vases of fresh cut flowers. These gifts made our home feel a bit brighter for a few days, but then as time went on, all the flowers slowly started to decay, leaving an unsettling feeling behind. It felt totally ironic to the situation entirely. For me, they were just a constant reminder of what happened. Timeless Spirit Colored pencil on 18 by 24 paper. This artwork shows a portrait of my gramps with a bear standing behind him with a forest setting. My gramps' spirit animal was a bear. Everyone knew him as Brother Bear within the family. I wanted to include him and the bear to show who he was and freeze it in time. I think a bear describes him very well. He was reliable, wise, mature, and seemed a little grumpy, but he was the most loving man. Even as time goes by, his memory is still always with us making his spirit timeless. New Roads, colored pencil on 11 by 17 paper. This piece shows crossroads with a truck driving away from a girl. The girl represents me. I found myself at a crossroads when my aunt Gramps passed. So many things that we will never be able to do together, like how we never saw me drive. I ended up getting my license just a month after he passed, and I always thought I'd learn how to drive with him. So many things I didn't learn just because I relied on him to know, like where anything is in the garage. I have to learn how to walk on my own. Reflection of the past. Colored pencil on 11 by 17 paper. This piece shows a representation of my current self looking into a mirror. The mirror reflects back a memory of the past. It represents me reflecting on my own past memories that can no longer be recreated. It shows me looking at a younger version of myself with my gramps. He was shown only in the past and not the present. My younger self is standing in my grandpa's shoes showing how big the shoes once were on me. But then I grew and I had to move on to my own shoes. I included a bear ornament 
candles, framed pictures, dead flower petals, and a wooden plaque made for the family after he passed, all set up on my table below my art. The dead flower petals are actually kept from the celebration of life. The plant in the corner is also from the celebration of life. That was the only one that was in soil. I included a clock on the wall. It is broken and forever stopped at 2.34. This is the time that my gramps passed. October 1st, 2019. I put his chair in the room as well. I would like to share a letter I wrote with you. I wrote a letter saying goodbye because it never felt right to say goodbye while he was still here. Dear Gramps, you've been gone for over a year now. I sometimes pretend you are still in your hospital room because it is easier than accepting the truth. You're gone. You've been gone. But I think I can finally say goodbye. You meant a lot to me. More than I think I ever shared. You are one of the only men I have ever felt truly safe and comfortable around. The love you had was inspiring. The relationship you had with my grams was the healthiest relationship I've ever been exposed to. You are the reason I believe love exists. I am so thankful for all the time I did have with you. Maybe one day we will meet again. Until then, goodbye. Sincerely, Lauren. Thank you for uh, being here for my showcase.